Good morning world. It's a nice and sunny morning in Hurahin. It's about 9.40, starting to get hot already, but we are gonna try and make a move and get outside before it starts getting into the afternoon because then we are going to get lazy. We need to go and do some shopping for the house and we're gonna go out for lunch. So that is the morning's plan. I have semi made the bed because I know that Eden will mess it up. So I'm not gonna go crazy. Who's on the computer already, eh? Me. Both of us. My computer's on too. And oh, I'm on the computer as well, there I am, doing my work. Sleep work? <laughs> I've actually been out for quite a while. Both Sasha and I have been to the gym and done some exercise. Well, Sasha exercised in the house, I exercised in the gym. Feeling pumped. Fridge is looking dire. I hate seeing an empty fridge. We'll sort that out today. This magic drink device is actually really convenient. I love that we can just go and get some fresh cold water. Speaking of water, hopefully I'll remember, but I need to get battery water for the car. This is a little bit of advice for anybody who owns a car out here in Thailand, new or old. In the hot season, if you have to park your car anywhere in the sun, like a hotel or a parking lot, for a few hours or whatever, check your battery water every now and again because it really does dry out really fast and you have to keep replacing your battery like once a year if you don't top up the water. They sell it everywhere in Tesco Expresses down the highways and in town. You just buy a little bit of a bottle of distilled water and fill up the cells and it just keeps it going. It's just something you need to do out here. Otherwise, you'll be buying yourself a new battery every year and that's like, I don't know, 15, 1600 baht for a small car, 2000 plus for a big car, and battery water costs like 10 baht. For breakfast this morning, I'm having whole rolled oats with unsweetened soy milk from Lactosoy. It's about 15 baht per 500 ml carton. I've been drinking soy milk out here since pretty much the first month. I just got used to the taste and now I don't really like cow's milk anymore, it gives me a stomach ache. But in an ideal world I'd like to have almond milk every day, but it is quite expensive. I don't even heat it up or anything, I just have it like this, let it soak for a few minutes and gobble. Are we dining in the dark? You're trying to recreate the restaurant. Super dark in here. Yeah. Although it's pointless opening this because it just leads into the cupboard. There's no light. Morning car. Well, that's enough vlogging for now. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then we can go to the shops. We are off and on our way to do the weekly shop. We're gonna try and see if we can stock up the house with some healthy goods, some nice refreshing cooling foods. <laughs> What was it that you said you needed to start eating this week? Omega-3. Oh, yes. Omega-3 is now important to... I might see if we can get some mackerels. Mackerel? Oh. Not a fan of mackerel. What else is... We is... used to eat mackerel. Yeah, I know, but years ago. What else has got omega-3 in it that's not mackerel? Walnuts. Can't get them. Can't get walnuts here. Flax seeds. Got flax seeds already. No, we haven't. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, we'll buy some flax seed. All right, well, we'll have a look for... Omega-3 heavy foods this week for the seed and for us. Finished with the macro shop. We ended up finding walnuts in there in the end. They weren't cheap, but it's a good thing we can get them. So the total bill for all the shopping today, which should last us for a whole week, was 2,305 baht. So it's quite a pricey one, but at least we know we've got enough food for the whole week. And also we bought certain things like fabric softeners, three liters of fabric softener that we wouldn't normally buy. And obviously the walnuts, it's all quite reasonable. Just over 45 pounds maybe, something like that.
Now that we're done with that, it's time to head off for lunch. We're going to go to the Greek Taverna. Is that what it's called? I think so. Greek Taverna, Greek restaurant, mm -hmm. which is down into the main part of town, the touristy bit. Haven't Have been to... there before. Yeah, it, it, we've seen it a few times, but we haven't actually been in there. So quite looking forward to that. Get some Greek food for lunch. Just making a quick stop for some LPG. This is the first convertible I've seen in Thailand for about six months. It's funny how in the West, Convertible cars are so desirable and out here they are not desirable at all. It's just too hot. Even Westerners don't drive around in convertibles. I mean, this guy's got a hat on. Yeah, he's a Westerner, but he's got a little cowboy hat on. I just, I can't imagine that being very comfortable. He must be super hot and sweaty in there. Nobody wants to get dark skin out here, so that's probably why convertible cars are not very popular. The darkest window tints you can get. Yeah, that's what we did. When we bought this car, it was like, Give me the darkest tints you can you can provide me by law, <laughs> and they slap them on, and uh, even that's just about enough. Yeah. All right, let's go and get some food. If somebody was coming to Hu Hin for a holiday, and they were to ask us where's the best place to hang out, where's the best place to find restaurants, this is probably the area I would take them to. behind the police station and near to some of the biggest hotels. This little area, collection of roads, I'm not even sure if it's got a name, has all the best places to go out, all concentrated into one small space. All types of foods, the coffee clubs down here, the Hilton hotels down here. You could even get some suits made. I've never been interested in that. Not really a suit guy. It's nice to walk around, there's bound to be something that you'll like. It would take a long time to try all the restaurants around here. But we knew exactly where we were heading, we were going to the Greek Taverna. We'd seen it so many times before, and we fancied it. Greek food, it's been a long time. And the building does look quite genuine. So let's hope the food tastes genuine. Okay, we are here at the Greek Taverna. We've just ordered a couple of cold drinks. Joe's got a lemon shake and I've just got water. We've ordered our lunch. I got lemon chicken and Jay got spinach pie, Greek style spinach pie. And we got some dolmadas to share. You know, the spinach pies have arrived. They're wrapped in like little bits of phyllo pastry. And we also have dolmadas, which are vine leaves with rice and lemon seasoning, I think. Lemon and herbs. And then we're just waiting for your lemon chicken. I think we've decided to share everything because these pies come as little portions, so mm -hmm. makes sense to share it. All right, dolmada test. Nice? Yeah, good. Yummy. It's your chicken. Yeah. Looks really nice. Looks nice. Thanks. Okay, we are finished with lunch. The total for the three dishes, the lemon drink and the water was 640 baht. Back home, making a refreshing juice of passion fruit and soda water. Just get a straw. Sasha likes having a straw. The AC is on, Eden has been walked. Now I'm going to get on with some computer stuff for a few hours. This is Sasha's office for the day, right in the way. <laughs> I'm going to grab my shoes. I've been meaning to glue these sandals back together since Copang Yang. But they're covered in sand and it's a crap. I didn't have any glue. I'm going to do it now. I refuse to give up on it. I barely had any use out of the thing. We were in them for like, what, I don't know, a month? And they just unglued themselves. Like that. I mentioned this before, but Sasha always laughs at me for my want to fix things. She just says, oh, they're only 200 baht, just buy a new pair. It's like, yeah, but the glue cost me like 20 baht and I can fix them for another six months maybe, so 
I think I'll glue them. <laughs> and another thing is, if I didn't do this kind of stuff, then I wouldn't be the man I am today. I wouldn't be the kind of guy who fixes problems and basically without that attitude, I don't think we would have this YouTube channel. I don't think we'd have a website. I don't think we'd have a working car. It's just part of my core personality. And I bought the battery water from Tesco's. It was 10 baht and 50 satangs. And that's what it looks like. Fill up your battery with that and you won't have any more starting problems, hopefully. Hang them outside to dry for a bit. I'll be back for those sandals later. Side note, swimming pool and sky looks rather nice tonight. It'd be good if I had some sandpaper as well, so I could rough up the surface. Maybe I can find some in the cupboard. No sandpaper in there, but I did find this. Been looking for some of this. Insulation tape. I've got some wires that need wrapping on Sasha's computer wire. It's a little bit exposed. I've come to fix your wire, your computer wire. I found insulation tape. Where's the break in the wire again? There is the break. Let's get this thing covered up. All done. Now you won't have any nasty shocks. Well done. You're the well done. Found this knife sharpening block, which I'm going to use to rough up the surface. That'll do the job. All right, this is the situation. I've pegged them up, glued them up, and I should be able to wear them tomorrow, hopefully. Get back in the newer shoes. I hate those yellow ones. All right, now I'm going to eat some dinner because we're both very hungry. The flames are on. We have whole wheat pasta in the bowl. A sauce that I made myself out of tomatoes and curry paste and chilli and balsamic vinegar. A bit of olive oil and chilli and oregano. That's the sauce. And we are going to put some chorizo in there that we bought today from Macro. I might cook it a little bit first to release the flavour. And that is what we're having for dinner. Shouldn't take too long to cook. And that is where I'm going to end the vlog. Don't forget you can still bid on our Ford Escort. Put the link up there to see the video of that. Auction's still running, just send us an email to Escort Auction and type in how much you think it's worth to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well and also to check out our other channel, These Tiny Moments. Check the links below to see how you can become a patron of 8 Miles From Home and we will see you next time. Bye.